Hey guys, so today I thought I'd show you how to frame your Polaroids. I think framing them is a really good idea. Um, some people have like string on their wall. Um, some people put them in a kind of scrapbook. I like to do all of those things, but for some really, really special ones, you're going to want to frame them. Um, and I've also started selling mine as well. So this is the frame I get. Um, well, actually I get a couple. There's sort of two main types of frame that I get. Basically, there's this one, it's a higher quality, uh, it's much nicer, it's kind of made out of real wood. Um, so there's that one. And then there's this one which I get from the works, by the way, this one this one I found on eBay. Um, this one is from a shop called The Works in England. Um, it's, it's two pounds. It's a kind of fake wood effect sort of thing. I think it's made out of like plywood or something, but it's the, th the reason I like it is because it's got a really deep frame, and so your your image kind of sits inside it. In fact, I can show you one I made earlier. So here's one I made earlier, and as you can see, the the Polaroid, the print itself actually sits deep inside the frame, which looks quite cool. Um, so yeah, let me show you how to do it. And by the way, the size of the frame is actually six by six, and which leaves quite a lot of space around the edge, but in my opinion, I think that looks quite good. So first of all, you just want to take out the back. And then it comes with this, this card in the back that says kind of travel, but you want to take that out, you don't want that in there. And then you're left with this. Basically, what you want to do, so that your print isn't sat on this um, sort of wooden background. I just got some black card. Um, you can usually, sometimes it's quite expensive but you have to find the right place and then it acts, it's actually really quite cheap. This was about a pound for like 12 sheets or something. Um, there were cheaper ways of getting it. You could get like 50 sheets for like three pounds or something instead but I didn't need that many sheets so. And then, so what you got to do is you literally just line this up so that you get the shape and size of the square that you need to cut out of the black card. Unfortunately on A4 you can't get two of these squares out of it, which kind of sucks, but... You want a pencil, because the pencil will show, up, will show up on the black card. And you just want to draw around that outline. So you can see the line shows up nice and easily. And then just cut it out. So now you're left with this, and basically the next thing you want to do is you get these things, they're an absolute godsend. It's basically um, double-sided sticky back sort of pads, and you just want to peel one of them away, like that. Stick it somewhere in the middle of this card, it doesn't really matter, because then you can move the Polaroid afterwards. Stick it on there, don't forget to peel off the the other thing, the other sticky side of it, like that. So these things are about a, like a pound maybe, a pound fifty, something like that. And you get 56 of them and you only need to use one of them per print basically. So definitely a great buy. And then you just want to kind of, I do this just by judging with my eye. If you want to use a ruler or something then go ahead. But that looks somewhere in the middle, and you obviously you have to press it down. Maybe use the paper to press it down so that you don't get fingerprints all over the proloid. And then there we are. <coughs> so that will stay on there then, and it won't fall down inside the frame. So you just put this in upside down. And then put the back back on. And that's it. The frame is a bit of a clean, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So the one on the left is more of a square format, the print itself, because it was taken on a on an SX70, and it's it's that's the square format that comes out of that one. Um, apart from obviously the bit at the bottom, which makes it sort of a rectangle. Um, but this one is from the Spectra, and it's a it's a wider angle, um, so 
obviously it still fits in the frame, in the frame, but it's not a perfect square. And actually, I've misjudged it. I've put much less space here than there, but that can be fixed. That's fine. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone, and I'll hopefully see you in another video.